BTP, big business technology for small business. Good morning. Welcome to BTP this morning. Michael Jenkin here. Um, today, let's cover a discussion that's interesting. People come to us and say, why don't you virtualize servers? Well, at BTP, we do actually virtualize servers. We just believe in getting the right solution for the right customer. We don't believe every server should be virtualized, and we don't believe no one should virtualize servers. Now, virtual servers, what are they? So basically, you take a physical server. So we're talking about a physical box with all the hard drives and RAM and video card and everything in it. And then you put some fancy software on it that allows you to install a copy of Windows Server a couple of times in a row, which allows different people to be accessing different parts of the server and running in their own environment, but multiple environments on the one box. So they're not real servers, they're fake software servers. They're running in memory servers. They are on a physical piece of hardware at some point, but they're all sharing the infrastructure underneath. Now, that's where it comes tricky. Why wouldn't you virtualize every server? Well, if you've got one server, what's the point? You're just making it harder to get to your software. You've got to jump through hoops, a software layer, to get to your server. So why? You're backing it up. Can that software server talk to your USB to back up? Or is it to back up some other means through a NAS or something like that? Something goes wrong, it's harder to fault find, harder to get it up and running again. People say, but if you virtualize your server, then if something goes wrong, you copy that image to another server and run it up. Well, our backup software does that anyway. It not only backs up, but it converts the backup image into a virtual server ready to go. The only time we virtualize a server is when it makes sense. You come to us, you want to buy two servers, we're probably not going to virtualize it. You come to us and you want to buy two servers and a small server to do a very small task. Now we're starting to think about virtualization. So advantage of virtualization is there's less to insure, less hardware, it uses less power, and of course you have to buy less, it takes up less space in your office or in your rack. So there's some great points to virtualization. But if you run more than one server on a physical server, you need to think about these operating systems are all sharing the hardware. How do you get reasonable speed out of the hardware? Well, you add more RAM, you add faster hard drives, you add more to it. By the time you've added more to that server to allow you to run two virtual servers, is the cost outweighed by buying two new physical servers or is it cheaper? Often it's cheaper. If you want the same performance out of your virtual servers as you get from physical servers, quite often physical servers because they're cheaper. But if you're going to go three, four, five virtual servers and they're running very small tasks, then sometimes virtualization makes sense. Do we use VMware? Do we use Hyper-V? What's better? Do you use some Linux variant? How do we virtualize? We use the Hyper-V. We do manage Linux virtual servers. We do manage VMware servers, but we prefer Hyper-V. We go Microsoft all the way, get the backing of Microsoft all the way, and it performs for us. It does our job that we want it to do. So when it comes to virtual servers, if you ask for us for a quote, we're probably gonna give you what we think is the right thing for you, for what you're doing, for your workload, and how many servers you've got. We're not gonna rush straight out and say, oh, virtual server, virtual server, we're not gonna do that. Um, same time, if you've got a need for virtual servers, we'll recommend it to you. So look, BTP, no, we're not against virtual servers. No, we look after them, we got them, we got them out there, we quote them. But we only quote them where they're needed. We try not to make sure we're billing you too much, which of course with a virtual server can get out of hand. You add more stuff in it so you can run more virtual servers. We try and make sure we're doing the right thing by you for performance, for cost. Um, yeah, sometimes you don't have much space. Sometimes you have to virtualize. Again, something to take into account. So we don't rush out there. Not one solution fits all. We build it right for you. Anyway, I hope that clears it up for you. Virtual servers, yay nay. Hey, I don't know what you guys think out there. Get back to me, let me know what your thoughts are. And uh, yeah, comment below, share the video. Um, tell us what you think about virtual servers. Have a great day.